incoming. Priority one, subspace communication. Star Trek Online has had a great first year. You know, when I think back to launch, what really impresses me is the active role our players have had in shaping the direction of the game. Through passionate discussions, elaborate forum posts, Star Trek fans have really inspired many of the changes and features we've made to the game since launch. And it is a very impressive list of changes. In our first update, Season 1, we added new fleet actions, new PvP maps, off-duty uniforms, respec options, bridge options, new customizable Klingon ships, and our first special task force, The Cure. In Season 2, we expanded the Undine vs. Borg storyline. We increased the level cap from 41 to 51 and introduced an entirely new tier of ships. We introduced player ship interiors, added a Dabo minigame, and also introduced Federation Diplomatic Corps and First Contact missions, which emphasize non-combat gameplay. During Season 2, we also introduced our first featured episode series, where every week, players can tune in and play a new mission in a continuing story arc, much like the TV series. The biggest addition in Season 3 was the start of the Foundry Beta. The Foundry is a powerful creation tool which allows our players to create and share exciting new missions that take place in the existing Star Trek Online universe. For our one-year anniversary, we're holding a big celebration for our players. We'll be holding trivia contests, giving out special items, as well as a few other surprises. So log in February 2nd and join the celebration on Kronos or Earth Space Dock. Our first year has shown that Star Trek Online fans are very passionate about this game. And together, we look forward to what the future will bring. Live long and prosper.